Uh, nicely done mention tonight for this young student with a great smile and a lot of determination. He's learning to play the violin with help from a group of people who are equally determined to make that happen. Howard Kennedy Elementary School. Music class is underway in partnership with the Omaha Conservatory. These young students spend an hour of learning like this three times a week. Tyler Roberts is the lead teacher for this program called Sprouts. Um, but to, to get a chance to put instruments in the hands of these kids is a really special thing, and I'm really grateful to be able to do that. One of his students has a challenge unlike the other students, but Kentrell Emerson is still eager to learn. Kentrell is an incredible kid. He is always energetic and smiling and ready to, to just play and have fun. Contreras has been learning to play since kindergarten with a special violin that rests on his right shoulder. He's older now and has outgrown it. This is just removing the old baseball. That's where Alex Reza comes in. His skilled workmanship over 11 years at Violins of Omaha is on display at his shop. For Contrell's new instrument, the strings are rearranged to match those of a right-handed violin. And kind of a mirror image of a regular violin, so when he's playing and learning, they're all speaking the same language as far as, you know, where your bowing has to be in the strings and, and everything else with the notes. And what's going on in this lab on the UNO campus is also tied to the violin you just saw. In this case, it's a very important device. This 3D printer at the Department of Biomechanics has many uses, including making prosthetics. For Contrell, it's a different design that attaches the prosthetic and bow to his arm. Um, so this is going to be placed right over his elbow, and it's going to allow him to basically hold the bow and then move the bow easily. Contrell had not seen his new violin or prosthetic until this recent visit to UNO. It was one of the few times he was at a loss for words. His mom, Matisse Payton, was on hand for the moment. I think it's amazing. Like, this is, this is great. He's going to, he's going to succeed with this. It will take some time to manage. But just as before, Kentrell embraces the challenge. I'm going to say... Awesome. Kentrell <laughs> is just full of life. Fun to be around. It's just amazing how many different people came together to help him out. It was a collaborative effort, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And they all did such a great job. And they're very encouraging, uh, so they stepped up to help. And Omaha Conservatory Sprouts Program, Tyler, the lead teacher, Alex, the luthier, UNO Bio uh, Biomechanics, and Chris, and his mom, Matisse, and grandmother, Joyce Payton. Oh, my gosh. So, Kentrell, I hope you check on, uh, I'll hope to check on you from a year from now and have you mm -hmm. play a song for us. We'll see you then. That would be wonderful. That would be great. Yes. Nicely done.